Right now, teachers and students are lighting candles in memory of a high schooler. Police say a classmate stabbed 15-year-old Devin Scott to death at Harding High School on St. Paul's East Side last week. WCCO's John Lordson joins us now from the school. So, John, a lot of grief there and also calls for security changes. Yeah, that's right, Amelia. We're hearing that from educators and teachers here at Harding High School, where, as you said, 15-year-old Devin Scott was stabbed to death on Friday morning. And, of course, they're gathering here. The vigil just getting underway. You can see balloons and signs in the distance behind me. Now, earlier today, we also heard from activists and law enforcement about the changes they would like to see when it comes to security at St. Paul schools. Enough is enough. Now you have a dead child on the school grounds. Standing outside of Harding High School, where a teenager was stabbed to death on Friday, Nasi Nasir X of the New Black Panther Nation called upon district leaders to make schools safer for kids. Harding High School should not open back up until they have the proper security protocol in place. Activists asked for metal detectors at all St. Paul schools and intervention programs comprised of mentors who've made mistakes themselves but learned from them. I don't think a lot of people understand what the teachers go through when they're trying to teach and you have unruly kids that are just in, inside of the schools deciding that they want to um, do whatever to these, to these teachers. Lisa Clemens of a Mother's Love Initiative also called on parents to get more involved with their kids. And that includes the parents. Stop not answering your phone when the school is calling you about something your kid is doing at this school. The group also asked for security and police resource officers to return to schools. The school board voted to eliminate resource officers in 2020. Mark Ross, president of the St. Paul Police Federation, says that was a mistake. And the fact that a lot of the people in the community, I would say most people in the community, do want police officers back in school. In fact, they didn't ever want the police officers to be removed from the schools. And just this afternoon, we learned that Superintendent Joe Gothard is placing two police officers here at Harding High School, along with four other schools in the district. They were chosen for their previous work with youth in this school district. And, of course, they'll take a look at all these security measures and adding those officers into schools, and they'll kind of sit down with the district and law enforcement to talk about a long-term plan, not just here at Harding, Amelia, but other St. Paul schools across the district. All right. Thank you, John.